Esther chapter 1 begins with King Xerxes hosting this elaborate banquet. He tells his nobles to get his queen to come to the party so that all the men can gaze upon her beauty. And then it says in verse 12, But when they conveyed the king's order to Queen Vashti, she refused to come. This made the king furious and he burned with anger. When Queen Vashti refuses to display her beauty for his guests, it says the king consulted his advisors and they convinced the king to replace her. On the surface, this may seem like just a royal disagreement, but in the background, it's actually a vital piece in God's grand design. This story invites us to realize that God's work often unfolds in seemingly ordinary events. Through Vashti's refusal, the stage was being set for Esther, a young Jewish woman, to become queen. This reminds us that God may be laying the groundwork for important roles in our own lives as well. During times of uncertainty or confusion, it may be difficult to see God at work in our lives, yet we are reassured in Romans 8.28 where it says, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those that love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Vashti's banishment from the presence of the king may have initially seemed unfair, but this was a key part in God's bigger plan. We may not always understand why certain things happen or why our circumstances and situations are what they are. But if we can learn to place our trust in God's divine wisdom and in his control, then we can experience his divine peace. Let the words of Paul in Philippians 4, 6 through 7 encourage you today. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he's done. And then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything that we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Jesus Christ.